hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial we're going to go over uh we're going to begin a new series and in this new series we're going to be covering statis uh, statistical analysis using python the python programming language so this is part of data science so if you're a data scientist or you're beginning data science or you do statistics and you want to learn how to implement statistics and draw different graphs and do perform different statistical analysis using python then this is a uh, that this is a video for you this is a course for you so if you're new to the channel please kindly go ahead consider subscribing and liking liking this video as i'll be posting this video in a uh, in, in a set of uh, videos okay i'll be posting this series in a set of videos so if you're new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you can stay updated whenever i upload uh, new videos okay so uh, as i say you're going to be covering uh, uh, statistics using python how to implement stat statistical analysis in python okay so the first thing uh, we need to talk about is the prerequisites to uh, to uh, to take this course so the first thing you have to have a knowledge a basic knowledge of the python programming language if you're not an expert at uh, python programming language also uh, this you can go along with the basic knowledge of python programming language okay so you also need to have uh, an internet connection so you need to have a computer that has python installed and also has an internet connection in order to uh, follow along with this course we don't need to install anything you don't need to install any libraries that you must have heard of like anaconda pandas we're going to be using google collab so you don't have to install anything all you need is a computer or a laptop uh, with an internet connection and um, python uh, that's basically you don't even need to install python but you need to have the basic knowledge of python programming language okay so i said earlier you need to have python installed but you don't really need to have python installed on your computer so all you need is a computer with an internet connection and the knowledge uh, of python how to program in python Okay, so let's go over the things that we'll be covering in this course. So we'll learn how to use Google, Google Colab. Uh, if you're not Google Colab, you're going to cover it just in a short while. You're going to be going over the different types of analysis. You're going to go over measures of central tendency, such as the mean, the median, the mode. You're going to look at uh, dispersion, such as variance, standard deviation, range, uh, inter quarter range, and kurtosis. You're going to also go ahead and look at data distribution, such as normal distribution, skew data, positive skew, negative skew, and stuff like that. And you're going to learn how to uh, plot different graphs or use like bar graphs uh, uh, pie, pie charts and other stuff all you're going to cover using python and you're going to learn how to implement this using the python programming language okay so uh, you're also going to learn how to draw different graphs uh, using seaborn matplotlib pandas uh, all these uh, awesome libraries that python comes with to perform statistical analysis with python so how is this uh, how uh, which approach are we going to be using during this series or during this course uh, the approach that you're going to be using is quite very simple the, uh, you're going to first have a question right a question and then we'll study the concepts that is needed for us to be able to solve that question and then we'll implement the solution basing on the knowledge that we just covered uh all of that solution right so you're going to have a question and right and because there is no point of learning something if you don't know really how to apply it okay so i think the best thing to do is start the question and then we'll learn the concepts that are needed for us to solve that question and then we'll go ahead and solve that question okay and at the end i'll give you an assignment for you guys to practice and learn more about it okay so let's first talk about the first lesson that you're going to be covering so the first lesson is going to be uh, quite very easy you're going to be going over introduction to google collab so if you're not google collab is google collab is just a web platform or a web uh, website that consists uh, that provides you with uh, ability to make uh, to program uh, python uh, different machine learning programs without having to install anything uh, using the python programming language you can add, i think uh, google collab also supports r but i'm not sure of that uh, so, but python is supports python and it uh, contains all the libraries that we need to uh, use so we don't have to install anything all we need an in is an internet collection and a google account to be able to use google collab okay so all the things will be, uh, all your uh, notebooks will be saved to your google drive so you can access them from any device anytime in anywhere uh, in the world as long as you have an internet connection okay so let's go ahead and let me show you wh what you're going to look at okay so so here i'm in a uh, google collab so to access this website what you simply have to do is go in your browser and then search for google collab and probably go with the first link uh, which should be uh, collab.research.google.com uh, and then you can be able to get access to this page so once you have access to this page you can simply go ahead and create a notebook so you can simply go uh, go to files and then go to create notebook and that will create for you a notebook and once you create a new notebook it will look just like this okay so let me just zoom in so that you guys can uh, see properly so yeah i hope that's fine and you guys can see that yeah just minimize this a bit yeah so i hope this is fine and you guys can see so uh, at the very top here the first we're going to talk about is how to rename a notebook okay so to rename a notebook you have learned how to create a notebook and once the notebook is created we can give it a unique name right so uh to create an, a not a, a, a name, name for a notebook you simply have to go up here and then simply click on this right here and simply type in uh your notebook so let's just say uh, uh intro okay let's uh, let me just call it uh 
tutorial so let me just say youtube underscore tutorial okay just like that so let me call it youtube tutorial and once that's done you've simply renamed your file and that's how it's easy to uh, create and simply rename a jupyter notebook on uh, google collab so once we have that great so i'm also going to go ahead and talk about the uh, the the code cells right here so you call you call these different things a cell so if you're if you've ever used jupyter notebook you probably know about those cells so they have something very similar to this and if you don't know jupyter notebook it's all fine a uh, jupyter notebook is just like uh just like this website but one that you have to install using a tool called anaconda and then you anaconda and then you can use jupyter notebook uh, using anaconda or you can even install a uh, jupyter notebook without anaconda that also works fine but basically we're not going to be doing any of those we're going to be focusing on google collab and we call this runs here cells so we can even go ahead and create another cell by simply pressing this so now we have two cells the first cell and the second cell so instead of this cell you can simply write any code that you want so let's go ahead and simply say print and then you can just say hello uh, world okay so this is going to print hello world in python so i assume that you already have the basic knowledge of python uh, so that's how you can print a simple hello world and to run the code just press on this play button right here and to run the code or you can simply go ahead and press shift and enter on your keyboard uh, at the same time and then this also run a given cell so right now this cell is selected so if you want to run this cell make sure you press shift and enter to run it or press this button right here uh, that's how you can run it okay let me take here there's another way of running it you can also run all cells from here just like that okay so you can see we get a uh, hello world being printed right here. so you can also press shift and enter again to run that specific cell great so once we talked about uh these are code code cells or for coding now you can also create a text cell right here so if i just come over here and i go on the click on text this is going to create a text cell so you can write actual documents in here you can write it let's say hello uh hello a world and you can make this text to be bold you can make it to be italic you can make it to be different things and you can see the output here so yeah that's basically how we can make a text be bold and all of that so you can also use uh, something called markdown and if you don't know what markdown is then you don't have to worry you can just simply use what google already provides here for you but if those guys who are familiar with markdown you can also write markdown in here so you can just say hello uh, world just like that and you can see the output here is going to be hello world yeah that's basically that my, my, what markdown is and can create another one here hello uh hello let me just get that right so hello uh hello uh, world just like this and you can see yeah uh, hello world and it's a much smaller version of this yeah so that's basically how you can write different things uh using markdown you can also write here let's say hello and then you say two uh two is gonna be a uh, world and all that information you can be uh, i can write it in here that's what basically a text cell does yeah so great so uh, we have learned about how to create a new cell and how to create a new cell just click on this cell and then you can go ahead and create a cell you can hit on this to create a cell below this or you can if you want to create a cell above this you can select this cell and then create above it and all oh, that's all works so this is a text cell if you haven't selected it it looks like this and if you select it it looks like this okay good yeah so now we have looked at text cells let's look at the hardware different hardware that comes with this so uh google google provides you with the hardware so you're using google uh, remote uh, cloud uh, machines on the cloud so you don't have to worry about your own hardware so google provides for you all that hardware and you can do all of this right here. you can adjust all of this uh, control the ram and you can i believe there's also a paid version for this uh, if you want to get more of, uh, more like more speed and more resources to use i'm not sure about the paid version but i think there is a paid version personally i've never used the paid version because uh, the one that google provides uh, right now is just really fast for my needs so uh, you don't uh, you don't need to pay for anything okay but if you are doing maybe uh, deep stuff you can uh, decide to pay if you want more uh, hardware stuff okay so now let's go ahead and actually look at the another hardware that google uh, always, also provides us so you can do a uh, i think it's called change runtime time this one right here so uh change runtime uh, runtime it just allows you to uh, do different settings like to you if you want to use a gpu uh, and you can don't use a gpu if you don't really need it because gpu is a uh, uh, resource intensive and gpu stands for graphical processing unit and it enables uh, machine learning models to learn faster and be able to train faster and all that so you can use gpu if you want you can also use what you have here called uh, tpu so tpu stands for tensor tensor uh, processing unit so we have this script called tensors in machine learning and you can process them using uh, tpu which is this hardware that is built specially for those so you can see the warning here uh, don't get most of google collab avoid using this if you if you really don't need it so uh, by default is none so we're just going to keep it to be none and then hit simply hit save and then we are back in here so let's about the hardware and uh, now let's go ahead and actually talk about the library so i'm going to go here and create a cell below a code block and i'm going to simply go ahead and um 
let's go ahead and see we can uh, Google already installed all the libraries that we need M most of the time the basic libraries are all installed so we have all pandas tensorflow keras all of those libraries are basically installed for us so you don't have to download or install any libraries to do a statistical analysis in Python Go using Google Colab Google, Google Colab provides you uh, all of the libraries so let's go ahead and say pip install uh, uh, pip sorry uh, sorry uh, I'm just going to import uh, pandas as uh, pd so panda P pandas is just a python library that is used to read uh, csv files and excel files into something we call data frames that we'll see along with later uh, when you go along the course so uh, as you can see now we've imported pandas we didn't actually install anything we just imported it and we can go ahead and use it right here so what if you there's a library that you want to use but it's not installed well you can go ahead and install it so just type exclamation and then pip the command to install it so pip install uh, pandas just like this and simply run that cell and that should run and uh, should tell us the requirements are already satisfied since pandas is uh, already installed on uh, on um, on a conda on a jupiter on a sorry on a google collab notebook okay so once we have that done that's basically it all, all we need to to get started so you can also go ahead and delete a cell here. you can just press delete and that should delete it uh yeah so be careful when deleting cells uh, then you can't like reverse cells once you delete it it's gone i don't know any other way that you can reverse a cell if you guys know any other way you can reverse a cell let me know in the comment section but be very very careful when deleting cells because you might not be able to uh re, re uh undo it okay so now, now that we've imported pandas, let's actually check the pandas version. So, so pd uh, dot underscore underscore uh, version, and this should return to us the version of pandas on the machine on the Google Colab. So now we have Python pandas 3.1.3.5. Okay, so good. You can add, import any library and check its version uh, just to make sure that you have the right versions uh, running on uh, Google Colab. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, now you can also go ahead and you might be asking what if you want to download my notebook and stuff uh, it's already saved on a google drive or you cannot go ahead and save save to google drive you can create a copy and save it to google drive and let's go ahead and actually do that so you can create a copy uh, creating a copy and it's going to save it to google drive just like that you can also go ahead and actually download it if you want so uh yeah so let's just give it so you guys created a copy of this and save it to google drive uh, so you can also go ahead and, and uh, download the library there this if you want so you can go to download and you can decide to download it as a python book or as a python uh, file or you can download it as a ipython file interactive python notebook which is the best way to download it so always download this as interactive python uh, i i b n uh, i b y uh, i p y n p okay interactive python notebook that's what it stands for so make sure at the time just download this as interactive python notebook and that's should be uh, fine yeah so that's basically it and uh, we have looked at how we can use collab and uh, different functionalities that come with using collab so great so in the next row we'll begin uh, talking about the statistical terms and we'll go into univariate analysis and stuff like that so guys if you're new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing liking this video and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find this helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe